The Russian army has opened a new section of the front in the Zaporizhia region, east and west of Nesteryanka. Ukrainian deep state reports about this. It is noted that this advance could potentially reach our rear, which protects Rabatino and Orkov, a key point of Ukrainian defense on the Zaporizhia front. Further to the south, Ukrainian forces are coming under pressure southeast of Zaporizhia, one of the few areas where they achieved success, albeit modest in size, in last summer's counteroffensive. Both Russian military bloggers and Ukraine's deep state map report small Russian advances into a pocket of recaptured Ukrainian territory. Before the Kharkiv offensive, Russia had been largely focusing its offensive capabilities in the east, where it had been inching forward since October 2023 as Ukraine's highly anticipated counteroffensive floundered last summer. Russian troops have made steady progress westwards in the direction of Pokrovsk, which serves as a vital military hub in Ukraine's war effort. Ukraine's frontline brigades are clinging on as they desperately await munitions from allies and fresh recruits to provide some much-needed manpower. Moscow's troops are aiming to bring its troops within tube artillery range of Zaporizhia and Kharkiv city. Along the southern front, the battle is on to recapture villages liberated during Ukraine's counteroffensive last year and push further into Ukrainian territory. On 29 to 30 May at night, drones of the security service of Ukraine struck a Russian radar system Nebo SVU worth 100 million US dollars in temporarily occupied Crimea. Reportedly, a Russian radar detection system was struck by the drones developed by the Security Service of Ukraine Military Counterintelligence. This complex controlled a 380 km area of the combat zone near the settlement of Armyansk, protecting Russian facilities in Crimea. After the drone attacks, the space reconnaissance equipment detected no radiation from the radars, and it did not re-emerge. This complex controlled a 380 km area of the combat zone near the settlement of Armyansk, protecting Russian facilities in Crimea. After the drone attacks, the space reconnaissance equipment detected no radiation from the radars, and it did not re-emerge. These systems do not provide the image fidelity required for targeting a stealth fighter, but by networking them with Russia's Gamma S-1 array broadcasting in the S and X bands, the Nebo system offers an effective means of tracking and eventually even targeting stealth fighters. It is designed for airspace control, detection, and identification of coordinates, as well as air target tracking, including strategic and tactical aircraft and stealth targets. Nebo SVU recognizes classes of targets and can determine their state affiliation. It operates both as part of automated air defense control systems and independently. The radar has a short deployment time of up to 30 minutes and is served by four people. It is stated that it has high patency and can be deployed in unprepared positions. The Defense Forces of Ukraine, jointly with the Security Service of Ukraine have conducted a several days long operation of destroying the supply routes for the Russian troops in temporarily occupied Crimea. Early reports say a complex strike on substations and power supply networks was launched, as well as on the stocks of light oil products in Russia's Krasnodar Krai. At first, the defense forces launched a missile attack on two ferries that headed to the Kavkaz port and were used for the purpose of military logistics of the Russians. Then the security service of Ukraine drones struck the substations, which supplied the Crimean Peninsula and the water area of the Kerch Strait, including ports, with energy directly. On 30-31 May at night, the security service of Ukraine, jointly with the Ukrainian Navy, launched a strike on a transfer tank farm in the Kavkaz seaport. Light oil products were sent to Crimea through it. After an efficient operation, a massive blaze broke out, which could be visible even from the satellite. <laughs> 